Significant progress has been made on the new Sullivan County Jail. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Rebecca Pettin. And I'm Casey Getz. Today, News 5's Ashley Hoke got an inside look at the new facility and learned when it will include and when it will be completed. She joins us now in the studio. So, Ashley, we understand this was also the first time county leaders got to see how the funds for the project are being used. Yeah, Casey and Rebecca, county leaders say when all said and done, the project is expected to cost nearly $100 million. I also learned this new jail is expected to solve a variety of issues. We're about halfway through the project right now. Uh, we've got all the foundation in, all of the major steel structures up. That's how construction crews describe the ongoing work at what will be the new Sullivan County Jail facility. One of the main goals to help address overcrowding. I asked what capacity will look like when the new jail is complete. Each cell uh, has two, two people housed in it and uh, has its own toilet, two bunks, and a little table in each unit. As far as people that will be here long term, we have about 600 beds for them. A lot of prisoners are transient, just here overnight, put in a holding cell, and, and that gets you closer to probably about eight, 800 people. 800 beds. County leaders telling me that overall they're very pleased at the work that they've seen so far with this project. I hate to use the word thrilled in <laughs> connection with the jail, but just the technology and uh, the way it's laid out. I'm happy with the progress. With safety for correctional facility staff and inmates being a top priority. The security will be a, a lot more effective and a lot easier control. Um, everything in this new jail is automated. All of the locks are automated. In a matter of 10 seconds, uh, the control officers who will oversee those pods, they'll, they'll give a rack up. That means everybody's in your, in your cell with the door closed within 10 seconds. If you're not, you're the troublemaker. Personnel telling us while crews are halfway through with the project, there's still more work to be done now with the option for expansion in the future. In the future, we have an area for expansion as we need it. The people aren't bearing the cost of that today. If we need additional cells, we can slide those cells in and have 56 more beds. Now officials on site tell me the estimated completion date for the project is March 2025.